Hey, it's Dr. Centeno, and I'd like to show you actively, in real time, what the Mayo Dural Bridge does and why it's a big deal. So this is a upright flexion extension MRI done by the famous Scott Rosa. These are amazing images. I don't know of anyone else that offers this right now. Uh, Scott's in upstate New York. Um, but it's actually showing us a failure of the myodural bridge. So it's believed that the myodural bridge uh, has a job, and that job is to keep the dura here from infolding when you come back into extension. So again, if we watch right here what happens, uh, as we go into flexion, that goes away. Uh, in extension, it's there. So if we watch how that happens as this person comes back into extension, this myodural bridge through the rectus capitis posterior minor is supposed to be getting pulled back so that the dura gets pulled back. And as you can see here, it doesn't happen, meaning we have now contact of the dura and the back of the brain because the myodural bridge isn't functioning. So in this particular patient, we are going to focus on quite a bit of things. She's got a lot going on, but I also want to make sure that we treat the rectus capitis posterior minor, the PAOM, the posterior atlanto-occipital membrane, and the myodural bridge to try to tighten that down to prevent that dural infolding from happening. So again, these are fantastic images. If you want to get these done, only Scott Rosa is, does them. Um, but it provides helpful information for me to be able to precisely target that tissue. And again, that's a combination of x-ray guided precise injections and ultrasound guided injections um, to target those specific tissues. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day.